Hi, I'm Dan from Vision Tech Automotive. Just going to show you around the 2020 Vision that we've built for Camper Love, show you some of the features and how it all works. Okay, so this is the 2020 Vision. Um, main features of the cabinet is obviously one, the design. This is all carbon composite. So we use a mixture of carbon fiber and fiberglass in the construction to give us the unique design. This is actually the, the same van that won the uh, best camper conversion at the NCC Awards this year. Um, one of the features is the is the drawers here that, that, that lock without any locks. So you can see that this just flush, um, soft close, and then by flicking the ignition on, it locks the cupboard. So you can see there that's solidly locked. And then ignition off and they're open. We have drawer fridge, again, unique to ourselves with freezer compartment. Uh, the fridge is switched on and off from a dial at the back here. Turn on and off. And to close, one push in the middle and it's locked. The, the bed couldn't really be any easier to put down. So unlock the bar and then you've got either a button on here or you've got the remote control. So all of our beds, again, both conversions, Premier as well, we have this bed extension here, which is a fixed, just a fixed panel, but it makes a huge difference. Um, a lot of beds will stop, so you have this part of the bed you can fall out, whereas this creates a whole bed section to the back, which really does make a big difference when you're sleeping. So all of the vans that we, 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 we build here have high-low roofs. Um, there's numerous reasons for that, I'll try and touch on those. So the big, big advantage is the, is the height. So we've got the extra height at the back here with, with these heavy duty hinges. Uh, really strong, which means they're, although they're higher, they're actually better in high wind conditions than other roofs on the market. Again, superior quality canvas. I'll go inside to show you. Well, at the moment we've got it zipped out. We have a fly screen here, and then we have a total blackout that I can zip out as well. Window in the front. At the moment we've got the bed. At the moment we've got the bed in the upright position with the shelf removed. We'll go back to the shelf in a minute. But, I mean, I'm not the tallest guy in the world, but there is over six foot here, uh, right at the back. Whereas a lot of a lot of camper vans, you'll be able to stand about here, and, and, and that's it. Um, we've got the shelf up here, which again is removable. So you have the option to have that at the back or at the front of the van for storage when camping. The bed is on gas rams, so we just pull that down. And then if you want to have a look up there at the amount of space you've got. Uh, the difference is that with a high-low roof, adults can sleep up there. That really is the main difference, whereas a lot of other pop tops is just for kids. So we have this strip, strip strap. We have this strap here for the high-low roof to help pull the canvas away. So just connect that together and that will help pull the canvas in when we lower the roof. The hollow roof couldn't be simpler. Grab your two straps here. And pull down to the point where the roof holds itself. Then we have these tags on either side here. Red and red. Pull those to touch together. And then we pull the front of the canvas in. We have a handle here to lower the roof, taking care to pull the canvas in from the top and the bottom.
and then pull the lever and pull the roof down. So at the point of locking the latch in, the next point would be to put the, the lockdown bolts in. So we have one each side, and then we'd have one more tie down at the back. And we could slide this panel across. Fucking the canvas up. that's away. Another feature of high-low roofs that our customers absolutely love is the low profile when the roof is down. So not only does it look great, just looks like a tin top van, it also helps with putting into uh, customers' garages and low car parks. So this vehicle is also fitted with a 150 watt solar panel. This is pretty much enough May to September for you to run the fridge all time. Um, yeah, great, great addition. Okay, so here we have our control panel. So we can see 98% of battery and here, this is the time till it goes flat. So we've got six days, uh, seven days going up all the time. So if I put the lights on, we'll see that start to come down. So yeah, six days here, so it's going down slowly. Uh, if we go to the next screen, we can see what, what's going out and what's going in. So we've got total charge and discharge, and then we can see down here we've got light at 0.5 amps. If I turn those up, I don't know if the camera's gonna show that, but you can see 1.3 amps, and we see this start to come down now. So six days, five days. So once the fridge kicks in as well, you'll see a level on here come up on the fridge. Um, and this, this time will change to, 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 to give you an idea of how long you've got camping. If the sun comes out, then we'll see, we'll see the solar come up and this will change to a time for the batteries to be recharged. Go to the next screen. We've got water tank and gas tank levels. So this is fresh water tank, no waste tanks on, on, on our vehicles. Um, it just runs to outside and 100% in the gas tank. So if we come, onto the gas system. This switch here will switch on the gas bottle. The gas bottle is mounted under the van, so we don't have any gas live inside the van unless this switch is on. Once that switch is on, we can then use the gas rings up here. And we can use the heater. So uh, to use the heater, we press the button once and we get a indication up here of the temperature set for the heater. We'll set that to quite warm in here today so we'll set it to 24 degrees then the display should change to tell us the external temperature and then we'll get a red light on the red light is indicating that the burner has fired and it will start to blow warm air into the cab area we have a light switch here let's go back to that so there's 240 plug there when you're plugged into mains that will come live unless you spec a power inverter, um, which will give you 240 from the leisure batteries. Here we have the dimmer to turn the lights up and down, as I showed you earlier. This powers up the tap to allow the pump to run. And then we've got USB here, and we can have options for USB-Cs for our iPad Pros, bits and pieces like that. So you can see here that the time has gone right down to three days. That's because we've got a total dis discharge of four amps. Um, we've got one amp on the heater and the, oh, sorry, one amp on the lights and the rest of the power is from the heater. So if I turn that off by a two second press, that will go off and then we'll see this current come down and the time subsequently will go up. 
Okay, so this van is fitted with our e-grill. So you push that, you push it in, in line with the lock to release, and then just plug in, and then that will charge. We can see that on the inside. So you can see here now we've got a blue arrow going up. Two hours and 26 minutes till we're charged. And we now have a blue, which is power going in. So we can now see we've got nine amps going in. I'm pleased to say that this van is available to buy now directly from the Camper Love website. If you want one of our conversions this side of Christmas, the only way you're gonna get it is through Camper Love. They have other builds of ours coming through, so other colors, other options available. If you're in the market for this or any of our other builds, please contact Camper Love directly.